Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia's promotion is in trouble. No buzz for the fight and sandwiched between two better, or my, I won't say better, two better <laughs> known fighters or better, uh, bigger audiences surrounding their fight in a fight with Canelo Alvarez and Keith one-time Thurman, as well as Roley Romero and Isak Cruz. Let's talk about that in this video. Devin Haney needs a knockout, a spectacular knockout of Ryan Garcia in order to avoid a big old bump in the road that is sitting there waiting on him. Now, before I get into the details of it, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for continuing to check out the channel. I do want to take a second to thank the sponsors of the video that we did yesterday. Shout out to my guy, Big Mel 360. Appreciate you so much for your support in that Terrence Crawford video. Thank you to my guy, Matty Yo, for the support in the Gervonta Davis video. And thank you to my guy, Reginald Rogers, for that super thanks. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that one was on the Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford video. Thank you. It definitely makes it a lot easier to be able to do this conversation. And I'm going to talk and give you my opinion about something. which And now it's going to be facts and opinion. There's a very good uh, good fight coming up uh, in, with Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney is a fighter. Love Devin Haney as a fighter. Undisputed champion, former undisputed champion, 140 pounds, current WBC world champion at 140 pounds. I think I said one, he was undisputed at 135. Now he is the WBC champion at 140. You have former title, uh, former um, lightweight and uh, current uh, underwear model. Just joking. Ryan Garcia, good fighter, man. Former, I think he was a WBC he might have been the WBC interim champion at a certain point in time, um, but good fighter, fought Gervonta Davis uh, in a really, really huge fight. They did over a million pay-per-views, did a $23 million, $22, $23 million gate in Las Vegas. Big deal, right? Going into this fight with Devin Haney. And the question is, how well is this fight going to is is it going to be is it going to establish Ryan Garcia as a world champion for the first time and also a significant box office draw again and the same thing for Devin Haney it it will solidify Devin Haney as being you know a really for Devin Haney this fight is about being a being a box office draw uh, it's, I don't think it's really about for a lot of people whether or not he's a skilled fighter or he's the better fighter. There has been some people that have picked um, picked uh, Ryan Garcia to win, most notably uh, Calvin Smith, Gervonta Davis's trainer, and Canelo Alvarez's trainer, um, Eddie Reynoso, have picked him to win. But by and large, most people really favor uh, Devin to win the fight. So the question is, you know, are you going to be a big box office draw? What kind of numbers are these things? Is this fight going to do? What's the gate going to be? All of those things are important because Devin is selling himself as the face of boxing, and that moniker ain't going to sell if you ain't selling. And you know, people can try to, you know, manipulate and reinterpret the meaning of it, which is obviously you know a subjective term. What do you mean by face of boxing? Well, look, man, it's got to be some degree that when people look at your face, they think boxing or when they think of boxing, they see your face. And the more people that do it, the more solid and the more reputable your claim to be that is. Right. If nobody knows you, how can you be the face of something if nobody knows you? Right. So the face of the face of 
R&B or the face of pop, Michael Jackson, right? The face of basketball, Michael Jordan, right? If you were not going to say, well, who's the face of boxing? Uh, Israel Vasquez. Uh, who's Israel Vasquez? Right now, I know who Israel Vasquez is, but come on, man. Israel Vasquez, very good fighter. Never would be confused with Muhammad Ali or Floyd Mayweather or Mike Tyson. All right. So the numbers for Devin is going to be important. Unfortunately, though, he's got a tough road because there's a guy who also claims to be the face of boxing that will be fighting about two weeks after he does. And another group of fighters, all of which have good name recognition in Keith Thurman is um, Roly Romero and Isak Cruz. And some people will throw Tim Zhu in there. I think to, this is to put Tim Zhu up there, right? But I wouldn't say Tim Zhu, but some people may say Tim Zhu. Those are bookended, bookending that fight. And they're all these fights are taking place in Vegas. So on March 30th, you have a bunch of people traveling to Vegas to see a big fight in Vegas then. And buying pay-per-views for that fight there. You may get 150 thousand to say you get 150,000 people buying that pay-per-view 100,000 people buying that pay-per-view right that's 100,000 people that are going to fork out 70 bucks or so that weekend then you got two weekends later then is Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia so some of those people are going to have to go back to Vegas right and then many people are going to have to rebuy the pay-per-view the second pay-per-view but these same people also know that you got Canelo, who's going to be fighting somebody. More than likely, I suspect, I suspect Jamal Charlo on May 4th during Cinco de Mayo, a big vacation, a big holiday time for that fan base. So what are they going to do? Are they going to choose to go to all three? Some of them will. Will, will they choose to do one? Most will choose to do one. And which one will that be? The holiday, the non-holiday? Eh, probably the holiday. The one with the biggest name or the people with not the big? Probably the ones with the biggest name. And so you have now pressure in that regard. And I'm not saying that that is going to be. So I think that that pay-per-view is going to be is going to be affected because it's bookended. So therefore, it is all the more important for Devin Haney to not only prove Calvin Ford and Canelo Alvarez's trainer, um, Eddie Reynoso, wrong, it's also important for him to knock out Ryan Garcia. Knock him out. Because if you get the knockout, then you get the highlight reel. When you get the highlight reel, you're going to have people showing that and showing it and showing it for a while. Ooh, on and you and then you set yourself up for the next big fight that you have with people having a lot more interest. I really still I maintain still that Devin Haney, even though his performance was very dominant against against um, Regis Progre, it wasn't memorable. It was it was dominant. It wasn't memorable. It wasn't something that man you can see it in your mind's eye, like when Gervonta Davis fought. Leo Santa Cruz, or when Gervonta Davis fought Ro Roley, or when Gervonta Davis fought um, Ryan Garcia. Less memorable was when he fought Isak Cruz and when he fought Hector Garcia, where Hector Garcia didn't come out, didn't come out. But that pressure's on Devin, and Devin should rise to the occasion in this regard and not leave it to chance. Go for the knockout. Uh, be safe at the same time because Ryan will definitely clock you upside the head if you're not careful. But at least that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.